Hello everyone. Welcome back to Frames of Nature, a channel about nature, photography and more. Finding Nemo, the amazing movie which exposed us to the beautiful and colorful life in our oceans. The wonderful characters that we fell in love with. This movie also got many people into getting aquariums to their homes. It is said that watching the fish moving about in an aquarium is therapeutic in nature and stress relieving too. The fish here are purely aquatic creatures. They are not capable of surviving on land. However, do you know that there is a fish which can walk on land, a fish which in fact spends most part of its life on land. I am talking about the highly animated amphibious fish, the mudskippers. Mudskippers are over 30 different species of amphibious fish which inhabit the mudflats in the intertidal zones. They are found in tropical, subtropical and temperate regions including the Indo-Pacific and the Atlantic coast of Africa. They can grow to up to 12 inches in length. They are known for their ability to walk and skip about out of water. Mudskippers present many physical and behavioral adaptations to enable their amphibious lifestyle. Their side pectoral fins are located under and much in the front of their elongated bodies. These act like legs, helping them to move effectively on land. As their name suggests, these fish use their fins to walk around on the mudflats with a series of skips and hops. Mudskippers have an unmissable pair of protruding eyes located on the top of their flat heads. These are well adapted to vision on land and keep a good watch out for prey as well as potential predators. The eyes provide a good all-round view. They sit on stalks while the rest of the body is safely under water. Unlike other fish, mudskippers prefer to swim with their heads above water, their eyes giving them a good 360 degree view. Mudskippers need to keep their eyes moist when they are on land. They have little cups underneath their eyes. When the skipper blinks, the eyes roll down into the skull and get re-moistened by the water held in these cups. Probably the only fish with movable eyelids. Mudskippers have the ability to breathe through their skin and through the lining of their mouths and throats. This is only possible when the mudskipper is wet, limiting them to humid habitats and requiring that they keep themselves moist. That is the reason you see them rolling themselves on the mudflats every now and then. This mode of breathing, similar to those employed by amphibians like frogs, is known as cutaneous air breathing. Mudskippers also have enlarged gill chambers where they retain a bubble of air, enabling them to stay out on land for extended periods of time. Mudskippers live in small burrows made on the mudflats where they quickly retreat to thermoregulate themselves. The burrows also serve as the place to settle down as the tide starts coming in, a protection from predators and a place to lay their eggs. They maintain a pocket of air in the burrows which enables them to breathe even when the burrow is totally submerged during high tides. Mudskippers feed on tiny crustaceans like crabs, snails and other arthropods. It is said that the mudskippers use a variation of a strategy known as suction feeding used by most fish under water. They bring the water with them, spit it on their potential prey and suck it back in. This has been described as water tongue. Mudskippers are highly animated and territorial creatures. They have a complex courtship and territorial behavior. When they notice an intruder, they flip their muscular bodies to catapult themselves up to two feet into the air. Their fins flare and open up to display the bright iridescent coloration. They also throw themselves at each other with their mouths wide open as if indulging in a mouth-to-mouth -mouth combat. Some research has shown that the mudskippers emit pulsed and tonal sounds during these encounters. This means that they are literally screaming at each other's faces. Mudskippers keep the research fraternity highly interested as they seem to provide a crucial link in studying the transitional evolution of aquatic creatures into terrestrial animals. 
the different adaptations needed, the genetic changes required to make this transition possible, as done by those daring pioneering fish who first ventured onto land nearly half a billion years ago, are always very interesting topics, and mudskippers are one of the species used to model them. So the next time when you are out and about along the coastal areas, do keep an eye out for these amazing creatures. As always, if you like the video, do give a thumbs up and share. And do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.